Welcome to this evening's military rate hearing. We are going to have a moment of silent prayer for our invocation, and as we do so, I ask that you will keep your thoughts and prayers with the families mm -hmm. and uh, those in Barrow County who have lost and loved ones, as well as those who are injured. Uh, it'll be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. If you would, please stand with me. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, at this time, I'd like to ask for a motion to adopt the agenda. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Davis. Those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, it is unanimous. Uh, at this time, we're going to our agenda item, which is millage rate uh, presentation that would be conducted by uh, the Deputy Finance uh, Officer, Angela Davis. Davis? I mean, Angela, I'm sorry, Angela <laughs> Davis. You know, I was thinking, hey, let's do it. Uh, Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Angela no Jackson. No, my apologies, Angela. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Good afternoon, Chairman and Commissioners. We're going to get right into the second proposed millage hearing, or actually the fifth uh, <laughs> millage hearing. <clears throat> the only reason we're redoing these millage hearings are the advertisements and hearings are being redone as a result of the size of the original advertisements in the Clayton News. They were located in the paper. However, based on the size, we need to do, redo the hearings. Nothing has changed since we did the first three hearings. So the information is all the same. The millage, proposed millage rate is the same. The millage calendar now, August 28th, and that appeared in the paper for the five-year history, millage hearings and adoption. September 5th, which is today, we're holding the uh, two hearings, 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. On September 17th at 6 p.m., we'll have the third hearing. And on September 18th, we will adopt the millage at 11 a.m. Once again, during the budget, we had the perfect storm. Expenses increased and revenues decreased. We also had new mandates from the legislature. A new ethics board was created, and there was a salary increase for some elected officials, which did not include the Board of Commissioners. There was a decrease in revenue. The public utility tax went from 15.1 million to 7 million. The requested expenses from departments was 383.7 million. Forecasted revenue was 284 million, leaving a difference of 99 million. Budgets by, for departments were reduced by 66.8 million. In the paper, the millage increase is advertised as a 31% increase. Taxes are not increasing 31%. That's a 31% increase, increase over the rollback rate. Millage last year was 16 mills. The proposed millage this year is 18 and a half mills. The average value of a home in Clayton is $250,000, which is an increase of $261.54 annually, or $21.80 per month. And home valued at $100,000 is an increase of $87.18 for an increase of $7.27 per month. The average value of a business in Clayton currently is $350,000 for an annual increase of $406.84 or $33.90 per month. A business in Clayton County valued at $250,000 will increase $290.60 annually or $24.22 per month. Are there any questions from the board at this time? Any questions? Okay, thank you for your presentation, Ms. Jackson. And at this time, we will have a public hearing on that. And I would ask if anybody would like to come and speak in reference to the millage rate uh, proposal that you feel free to come forward to the podium at this time to speak. 
Come forward, ma'am. If I have, if yes. I have a question, do I have to sign or I can just No, just come on up. There's a lot of jogging. State, I'm going to need you to state. Oh, when you come to the podium, name. I'm sorry, hold on. If you come to the podium, please state your name and your uh, where you live at. You don't okay. have to give us your address, but your approximate subdivision or something. Like okay. That. Um, my name is Lisa Gonzalez, and I live in River's Edge. Okay. And um, with the presentation, there seemed to be a lot of jargon used, things that I really don't understand. And it was very fast. And so can I have some clarification on some of the terms? I don't even remember well, what the address, terms were. Address the board, ma'am. But what, what oh, are I'm you sorry. having? <laughs> oh, you're fine. But um, yeah. what? OK. The difference between saying that our taxes would increase versus the millage rate, I don't know. A I'm not well tax versed. increase. A I'm tax increase well and a millage rate increase. That's the same question somebody had this morning, I believe. So if you could go over that again uh, through the slides and show them uh, the revenue and the expenses and the increase of the, uh, the difference between the tax, property tax increase as opposed to a millage rate increase or being the same. If, if you let her get the podium. You and, and don't <laughs> <laughs> and don't go far and, and, and unless unless if you have some more questions okay. then the newspaper advertises a 31 percent increase that increase is the increase over the rollback rate the rollback rate is the rate for last year's digest had no reassessments occurred and it was just growth but that's not like your tax bill your tax bill won't increase that much if you look at the gross last year was 16 mils. The proposed gross is 18 and a half mils. That's not a 30. That's not a 31% difference. That's about maybe a 15% difference, roundabout. Um, but it's not a 31% increase. And your taxes are based on the net millage. The net millage for last year was 12.360. The proposed millage this year, the gross is 18.5, but the net is 15.266. So on a home, I can't speak to your individual home because I don't know the value of your home a just dollars. in here. <laughs> <laughs> but on a $250,000 home, the annual increase would be $261.54 annually. That breaks down to $21.80 per month. And that's the average home value in Clayton County. However, on a home valued at $100,000, the increase would be $87.18 annually or seven dollars and twenty-seven cents per month. Okay, the rollback. You said take it, take the mic so we can so everybody can hear your your question. The rollback. Mm -hmm. What you explained it, but I still don't get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there's not a rollback on this one. We did. You always have a rollback, rollback rate. Okay. And the rollback rate is the rate that will produce the same revenue on the current digest that last year's rate would have produced had no reassessments occurred. When I say reassessments, I mean value increases. So, like, if your home was valued at 100000 and this year the tax assessor valued it at 200000 it's the rate that would have been on that digest had that reassessment not occurred, had they not increased the value of your home. All right, you good, ma'am? Clear as mud. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, please, anybody else like to speak? Have, you got a gentleman over here. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, again, I've got more of a question than uh, Come on up to the podium, sir. My name is Andrews Williams. I live at 1105 Vienna Court. Now, my question is that uh, they, they mistakenly taxed my home for a basement, which I didn't have. So they said they wouldn't go up for three years. What happens after that three years? Do I get taxed for those three years I missed? Now. Okay, you, you go uh, up this on the board, This board here does not do assessments. 
That's the tax assessor. I, I understand that. But what I'm saying is, will I get taxed for those three years that I didn't get taxed before? Will they include them in there? Well, I can't answer that. Maybe another board member so. can I answer believe, it. I believe, once, I believe once they're frozen, they're frozen for those three years, and a new assessment would have to be done on it. Oh, okay. Okay. But okay. please contact the tax assessor for a more definitive answer. But, yes, you had another question. Okay. There's one other question I had. I'm trying to remember what it was now. Uh, you mind if I sit down and come back? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Feel free to, to get Okay. Yes. Thank you. Because I it, can't remember what it was. There you go. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My name is Rose Jackson. I live in River's Edge. Um, frankly, I retired several years ago before the pandemic. And you can't hear me? No. <laughs> I think he was talking to her. I'm talking like, you can't hear me? <laughs> My sister say I talk loud. <laughs> oh, like, anyway, um, you know, I understand what you were saying about the taxes is a difference between that and the millage and so forth. My point is everybody is having to pull their belts in. I'm retired now. When I came to Clayton County 23 years ago, when you had ups and downs, I was, I was able to do it. But I'm retired now, and I'm not getting increases like people who work every day. So <clears throat> even though on paper it don't look like a lot of money, but to a retiree who catching it from mortgage companies, Taxes on on everything. Insurances have gone up on my car, my house. I am concerned that I won't be able to stay in my house. That's what's bothering me. I work for that little piece of house I got. Well, it ain't really little, but it's, it's what I work for. And now I'm worried. I never knew that I had to worry in retirement with things going up like they have because of the pandemic and things being up higher, they never came back down after the pandemic. Does anybody care about retirees catching it? I don't want to be a statistic like I used to hear about old people eating dog food and kind of craziness. I'm not saying I'm there, but I am concerned and I want you all to be concerned about the older retirees in this community who are now worried about, am I going to be able to stay in my house, not necessarily with this millage and tax rate, but the continued things that we're seeing, everything has gone up two and three times what it used to cost. I'm afraid. And I want you to know that the people, the older people are afraid and to please care. And, thank you. And thank you, but uh, not but, but this morning somebody voiced the same concerns. And that's what, that's what we've been hearing over and over again, and we do care. And that is a concern for us, our seniors in this community. Yeah. And this board has already mm -hmm. pointed out that we want to start taking a look at how we can provide our seniors with some kind of tax break or some kind of relief to uh, provide a, some kind of relief for our seniors. So we are looking at that. With that in mind, everything mm -hmm. that you just said. Last question, though, something I've been wanting to ask. Do people who are investors, since I understand Clayton County has a higher group of investors than property owners, are y'all looking outside the box to maybe get some of these people that may have money and working every day? <laughs> I'm not talking about regular working people, but I'm just saying if, if that's true, what I heard, that we have more investment properties here than other counties. You can address if that's true or not, but please think outside the box. Because we're, 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 we're with you. We've been with you. I've been with you 23 years. Yes, you have. Okay. okay. Yes. I, I can say this. I, I've been working on something. I've spoken to our COO about just that fact and really thinking out of the box and beginning to get creative and how do we begin to build some relief for our citizens. So the answer is yes. We're, this board is sensitive to those needs and we're going to aggressively look at how we can begin to begin to um, relieve some of that worrisome from your mind. 
Anybody else like to speak? Sir, did you remember? Oh. Did he remember? Did you remember? <laughs> did you? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> Again, my name is Andrews Williams. <laughs> you already know where I live. <laughs> my question is that uh, I'm ex-military myself. Now, the military only pays 109000 on the uh, taxes. I want to know if they're going up. If what's going Are up? they going to go up also along with the taxes? You talking about up? the military? Huh? You talking about the military? Uh yeah, the military millage on the taxes. I'm not sure. I okay, right now question. they only pay 109,000. The military pays 109,000. Right. The government pays 109,000. That seemed to be a federal issue. United States issue. government. Would that be a federal issue? That sounds like veteran benefits. Are they going to go up too? Oh, they are going up, is what you're telling us. Okay. I guess he's asking. Oh, he's asking. He's asking. You're asking the wrong people. Yeah. I could not tell you if they're going up on anything on the federal side or not. But with that being said, thank you for your service. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. I think Mr. Stanford has something. You want to add, Mr. Stanford? Yes, sir. Chairman and board, um, there's federal legislation out there now that they're talking about making an increase for the veteran benefits to exceed the 109,000. Um, that legislation hadn't, hadn't passed yet. Um, but they are looking at trying to um, get it back in balance with the inflationary market. So there has been discussions about it, but we had not got any. But that would be it. an increase. It would be an increase. So that's a benefit to the right. veterans. That is correct. Okay. All right. Anybody else like to speak? Yeah. Anybody else? Okay. Well, like I said, uh, I really appreciate those who spoke. And I want you to know that, you know, we all up here have uh, our property owners as well. It impacts us very much as well. And those of us who will be retired, I'm going to be on that side. At, at, that's the same question of these commissioners. I'm retired. <laughs> I'm retired. But you, okay. Uh, <laughs> at any rate, uh, at this time, we'll have public comment. And I see that the two who signed up for public comment have already spoken, but since you did sign up, you, you can take this opportunity if you'd like to say anything else. Uh, Andrew Williams, would you like anything else you'd like to say? No, I, I just want to say ditto to what the lady said over there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Rose Jackson, you have anything else? You good? I said thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. Again, I appreciate y'all showing up and voicing your opinions. At this time, is there a need for executive session? Boy, I thought you were about to take the mic. I was about to turn this whole dais over. <laughs> so is there a motion to adjourn? So move. Is there a second? A second. Yes, ma'am. Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed. It is unanimous. Have a great evening.